this production, El Gallo, we're following the exploration that the director Claudio Curi is having about the global condition. The global condition being if there is a universal language. Claudio is investigating the signals and the memory that we have about famous arias and he sprinkles that into a play that is spoken in a made-up language, entirely sung by his theater actors and performed with accompaniment by live music. The music was scored by Paul Barker, who is a very gifted London-based composer for opera in particular. It's a grand experiment about language, about theater, and about music. The plot of this story develops over the time that you're watching it, and even though it's a made-up language, it's very clear that there is an audition that happens at the beginning, and that's when all the characters meet each other at the same time that we do. And then there's a madcap rehearsal when the fear of failure explodes in front of us, and it's all part of the drama of a natural rehearsal and it concludes with the actual opening of the performance that we witness as the audience members. So it's a play within a play and the audience is very active in that way. It's a very physical performance. Each character is very well developed through the body motions and their interactions um, and also sparked by what they are singing because it reminds you of these very popular arias from Puccini, from Rossini, from popular opera that has sort of sunken into our memory and we relate to the characters through that music sensation and also their physical being on the stage. It's a remarkable work, it's unlike anything else.